Hey guys, what's up? It's Xypris here, and today I'll be reacting to another anime uh, called Tsuki ga Kire, or The Moon is Beautiful. And it came out in 2017. It's another romance anime, pretty much the same as a lot of the other reactions that I've been doing. So without further ado, we're just going to get into it and see how it goes. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Okay, it's pretty nice anime. I'm not sure who did the animation for this show. It has the, you know, like Cloverworks, A1, maybe even Kyoto animation vibes. Let me go and check it out. Who did it? Oh, it's Studio Feel. Surprising. But I love I love the anime. I love the style, the art. The music's pretty good too. I'm not sure who's doing the the soundtrack. I think it it you know it fits the vibe that it's trying to show in the imagery for the first few scenes. But this part is a bit wonky animation, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a little bit weird there. Uh, the people, the animation on the people is a bit weird. But a lot of the scenery is pretty good, beautiful. Okay, so they're in middle school. I, I, I wouldn't have known. Okay, so first, um, the opening scene there is pretty okay. Pretty cliche, pretty, you know, standard. It's pretty standard romance, slice of life, high school kind of show. Now, I'm, tr I'm not sure if there's, if there is anything special about the romance story, the love story. But, I mean, they already, they're already kind of hinting at who's going to be the main pairing, right? It's that guy and this girl that were, that we saw was focused and the girl was looking at, well, okay, sure. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right. So the, the title of the song is, of the opening theme is um, right here, right now, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure who this singer is. Uh, before we get into it. So I'm, I'm already familiar with the phrase, the title, the what the phrase means. So I don't know if that has anything to do with how the romance story or the love story itself is going to pan out, you know, because uh, usually, right, for, for those of you guys who, who know what the, what the phrase means, I know a little bit about it. It's something that you say to indirectly tell someone that you love them, right? Or that... Uh, it's, it's kind of like an indirect way of confessing to someone, perhaps. Perhaps it's either a confession, or it's just saying that you love them, or that they, they are beautiful. It's not really the moon that's beautiful, right? But yeah. Anyway, I don't know if that's how the whole story is going to be, because if if if, in, if it's going to be like that, it's just going to be all. Okay, these are my uh, initial thoughts. If it's going to be all all kind of like just beating around the bush and pushing and pulling without really saying anything. And I don't think that's going to be in that enjoyable for me um, unless it's done well. I mean, I don't know. I, uh, I like getting my heart, my, my heartstrings tugged, but if it's not tugged in the right way, I don't think it's going to be that exciting. Uh, you know, it's just going to be very annoying. So, but hopefully this, uh, story is going to be uh, a good one a lot of people actually like it so i'm just i'm just trying to make a connect i'm not sure if there is maybe i'm reading too much into it maybe it's just you know um it's just how the the mangaka i think this is based on a manga right i, I think that's how the mangaka or the author if it's a light novel um wanted to to 
write as a title for this story, like Skigakirei. Maybe it's a it's an exposition of that phrase or something. I'm not sure. I'm I'm trying to read too much into it. I'm sorry. Let's just go in into the show. There's really something weird about how they animate the people. I mean, okay, I do get nervous. I did get nervous back then when I was, you know, starting a, a new school year. I'm not really the type to be outgoing and you know, new environments, new people, just, it just, you know, scares me. Hmm, okay. Okay. That's very... Alright. Alright, so right, right off the bat, it's an... A, Okay, that's... Wait, he doesn't know her? I was thinking he would. Okay. So I'm gonna guess that the girl likes the guy. The guy doesn't know who the girl is, but maybe they had some kind of interaction before. Kind of like what happened with um, Your Lie in April, right? Um, between. Uh, anyway, what I was saying. Uh, between Kaori and. I forgot the name of the guy. Oh my gosh. I'm blanking out. But yeah, between the two main characters, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Maybe later. Maybe it's something like that. I mean. And they're just going out for dinner. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. And here's the other guy okay so the girl all right Okay, there's something going on, but I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but it, there's just these, I guess, a chance encounter. Anyway, let's just move on. <laughs> what is up with this kid? <laughs> Jose, okay, got it. What is... is I mean, they're... Okay, so, I mean, these two are at that stage. Right, they're at that age when it's all awkward. You know, puberty and adolescence, that whole stage where you become aware of the other sex. Uh, and you start having these thoughts and questions and insecurities about yourself and I understand the way that they are interacting right now that's not how you would usually interact uh, when you're a bit more mature but but I think it's pretty na normal so I'm, I'm okay we have a nod of recognition All right. Oh. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh, these meddling ro uh, family siblings and man okay that's a little bit embarrassing what? <laughs> oh my gosh I can't believe it. All right. I mean, understand. If I were in his position, I'd understand why she was saying that. I understand why. People don't really want to get teased, right? Being paired with somebody. I mean, it's just... It's weird. It's awkward. It's not something that you would like to put yourself in. Because you don't know exactly how to act at that stage. So I understand the position that these two have. This is a very nicely drawn classroom. <laughs> Just um, appreciating the art here. <laughs> Alright, I guess I have an idea why it's called Skigakere. <laughs> I can just imagine it. Th these two guys, these two, being in that kind of environment or atmosphere, that's when. That's the only time, probably, well, when the whole phrase will be said. Okay, so he's an aspiring writer, perhaps? A writer of a novel. And, well, it fits his personality. He's very introspective. And. Kind of see, kind of, of of a deep thinker. You know, he he looks at all of these things that probably anybody at his age wouldn't wouldn't think about as much. I mean, they probably some of them might notice it, but they don't really want to think about it. And that's what happens when you're kind of like, I guess you read a lot of stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> well, maybe it's a pen name. Ooh. Ooh. Do they have some form of bond? How, as well? Who are they? Who is this guy? Probably that one, the one that he's actually holding right now. Who is this guy, though? He seems like a nice... Ah... <laughs> uh. Okay, so that's him. He seems to be very confident. I mean, not. I mean, he. I don't know yet, but I think he's pretty much. Uh, um, yeah, he has self assured, I think is the right term for it. 
he's that kind of person. Doesn't really, you know. He may have insecurities, but he doesn't seem to be one to care much about it. That's what I'm feeling from him. And this girl is a little bit more on the insecure side. I don't know. That's just me. That's just how I I, I see the way that they behave. And that's how, what I get from it. I get what where she's coming from. There, I mean, there are times when there are times when I feel that that way, that exact same way. You know, like I don't really want to interact with other people. So I get, I mean, before, even now, sometimes. What's that about? Hmm. <laughs> uh... That was it? <laughs> Alright. So even the ending theme is titled... Tsukigakere. Very interesting. Uh, that was a very... Uh, there's something about it. It's... T it, the first word that actually came to mind... When... Uh, when I was looking um, at that ending theme, it's just it's very solemn, very calm, right? It's um, and I feel like the whole series or the whole show is not predicated on the characters. You know, it's giving off that feeling. Although we have the characters, but it's not really character driven. I feel like it's more concept driven, and it's. It's a it's a it's a certain type of romance, which I would say your it would be a, a your typical teenage kind of love story, right? Because or maybe I don't I don't know if it's typical for a lot of people, but in my mind it seems it's it's like it or it appears at like one of your typical uh, teenage love stories, or at the very least from where I'm from my standpoint from my viewpoint. That's what I usually see in a lot of the love stories that I I had watched before um, on TV in movies. It's it's like your cliche, you know, rom com teenage love story. But there's something about it that's just, um, as I said, calming. It's soothing. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but 
in a way, it's a little bit sentimental or nostalgic. Maybe it could be, it's the, maybe it's a song, the, the soundtrack, or, or just, but this was, this came out in 2017, so it's not as, I mean, if, if we're talking about nostalgic, I, I would say something like, uh, uh, Kimi ni todoke or Toradora would be more along those lines, but no, there's just something about the, the feel and the vibe and, and, you know, just the tone of of this the show the story the animation the music everything about it feels as if it's it's nostalgic you know you're it, it's it's like there's something sentimental about it and i i just can't put my finger on it but that's that's what it it feels like to me perhaps maybe uh, I'm, I'm going i'm going to go a little bit deeper into this because there's something about it that uh, is, is reminiscent of what my thoughts of romance was when I was in high school, <laughs> or when I, when I was about their age. Uh, so I think that's where it's coming from, that feeling. So, so yeah, I mean, from from coming from my point of view at the very least, or from my experience, it's since. I identify somewhat with both of the main characters, both Akane and uh, Kotaro, in, in in some ways. I can identify with her nervousness, her anxiety, or just you know the way that she's uh, very sheltered and and a little bit more closed, but is willing to to go out, trying. You know, she's she's making efforts to come out of her shell and to interact with people a lot more you know and get over that that awkward feeling or the nervous uh feeling at the pit of your stomach when you're, you're when you're trying to uh talk to someone new or when you're trying to do something new and you know uh, once you actually do it you you find it's not really that big of a deal and i, I like the fact that uh our our male lead Kotaro is a lot more secure I mean at the very least that's what he comes off as although he's very deep and introspective and he broods a lot <laughs> for I think three or four times during the, the the whole episode he we we listen to his monologue and he quotes um passages from his favorite author which and and I I, uh, I reson that resonate with me that resonated with me a little bit because back when I was in high school uh, I became more interested in uh, reading books and being a little bit more introspective and in writing about it as well that was my form of release it was my outlet for for expression so I understand uh, his. From, from his perspective, what it's like. So in that sense, I can kind of place myself in both of their shoes. And that moment when both of them um, shared line with you, I don't know exactly what's going on in their minds, but there is a hint that they've caught each other's eye a bit. I don't know if they've met each other before or if it's something that, you know, somebody just caught your interest maybe uh maybe they are your type in, in terms of appearance and maybe that's maybe they, they they are like your secret crush or something like that i don't know uh, we we never really got any confirmation or they never really said whether or not they knew each other from before because it seems like the girl does. It seems like she knows or she knew him from from some some time before. Like but the guy rebuffed that and and, and I mean he rebuffed his friend's um comment asking if or question asking whether or not he knew her. 
So apparently, according to him, he doesn't know her from any time before, but just from the glances of Akane toward Kotaro, it seems like she knew him from before. Anyway, I don't know if that if they knew each other before, maybe she... I, I was talking about it a while ago. It's uh, it, Maybe it's something like the Kosei and Kaori kind of story in which um, Kosei is not aware of Kaori's existence or presence uh, until she actually made her debut in his life one spring day. And from her side it's like she knew him ever since she was a kid because he was a famous uh, child prodigy in music so it could be something like that hopefully it doesn't have it hopefully it doesn't follow that same project trajectory because if it does i'm going to be so heartbroken at the end of this <laughs> i don't I, I don't think i can I, I i need something to be a little bit more upbeat and uplifting and you know just good vibes all around i don't i don't want to, to actually watch something that's going to make me full-on cry on camera uh, but yeah so uh those are only some of the things that kind of caught my eye um during the whole episode i'm not i at this point we i i have an inkling i guess anybody who has watched this already has an inkling that they're being paired together by the author <laughs> from this point but we don't know how that's going to work out um and i think it's just going to be all about the journey toward toward that so yeah um it's going to be exciting hopefully it's not going to be sad in the end please save me from that um <laughs> and yeah uh, thank you guys for watching this with me. If you have any recommendations of other shows, anime, that you want me to watch or react to, or any videos, clips, anything, anything at all, even, even, you know, like manga, novels, you want me to read and review, <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. But yeah, so just rec uh, just comment them down below, recommend them to me, I'm going to read them. Uh, I'm going to read all your comments and hopefully if I have the time, I'll be able to squeeze some of them in. But that's it for today. That's all for this episode. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next one and have, an, have a really great day or evening, wherever you are. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.